two. Hi everybody. I'm Melissa Bender and I'm excited to work out with you today. I'm a little out of breath because I was warming up with some jump roping. <laughs> so if you haven't warmed up, do a couple minutes of warm ups just so you can get your body ready to exercise, ready to move and really work at maximum intensity. Okay guys, I have my interval timer set for 12 rounds, 10 seconds of rest, 50 seconds, as many repetitions as you can get in. This exercise routine can be done with body weight. Um, I'm going to be using a 12 pound dumbbell, okay, just to add a little bit of resistance. Uh, there are a couple moves that would also be great with a band. I don't have one with me today, so I'm not going to use one, but just know it's an option. There's always a way to modify, so no weights make it a little easier. Some resistance training to make it a little more challenging, okay, and we're focused on the lower body, so you can go heavier with the weights because typically your lower body can handle a little bit more than say your arms can and your shoulders. Okay guys, let's get into our workout routine. I hope you are ready. And be sure to check out my most recent core workout that I shared this week. I think you guys are gonna love it. Lots of fun moves. Okay guys, let's turn up our volume here. Whoop. Okay. So we're starting with a squat lunge to hip rotation. So we're gonna start with our feet wide. We're gonna turn one direction, come into a squat, come center, turn it the other way. So we're working our thighs, but we're also working on that internal and external hip rotation. It's gonna activate the glutes, the thighs, and really start getting our lower body prepped for today's workout. Starting strong, getting everything going, fired up. Breathe. If you get out of breath, if you get sweaty, perfect. It means you're working hard. I will be getting out of breath and sweaty today. Last few seconds. Okay, good job. Next, we're gonna lie on the ground. We're gonna do side lying, bottom leg adduction. So this is one of the exercises that's great with a band. Bottom legs in front, or I'm sorry, on the bottom. We're gonna float it up to meet that top leg. So if you have a band, it adds some resistance on that downward portion. Um, like I said, don't have band with me today, so it's body weight for me. Keep going, guys. Try and stay on your side. You might feel yourself rolling back a little bit. You want to make sure these core muscles are also getting involved, even though we are focusing on the lower body today, on that adduction and abduction of the legs. So that means moving the legs towards center and away from center. So again, working those inner and outer portions, switch sides of the thighs. Here we go, other side, core strong. So core strong, that's your stability right there. That's where your balance comes from. Um, and like I said, if you lean back, you're not gonna feel it as much as you will if you keep that side lying position. If you feel a little bit more tired on this second side, then that's for a reason. It's because we just worked the other side your body's feeling it a little bit more. That's okay. Keep going. Excellent. Breathe. Last few seconds. There we go. We're going to stay on our side for a front back tap. I'm going to switch sides just to switch legs since that one's a little tired, but you're welcome to stay on the same, same leg. We're gonna tap front, lift, tap back, lift. Tap front, tap back. And I go toe when I'm behind, heel when I'm in front. Um, you can keep it centered. It's just to get a little bit more internal and external rotation throughout that hip. So we're focusing on strength and mobility. 
because really we want to develop both if we want our bodies to be strong and our movements to be functional, which is important to me. Breathe. We're getting there, guys. Last few seconds. <laughs> we have a kitty, <laughs> kitty video bomber. Hi, baby. This is Buffy. Usually you see my other kitty, Gambit, but she's pretty happy right now, so. Oh, toe, heel, toe, heel. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Breathe. And again, keep the core engaged because you still, even though we're working on the lower body today, we're still going to get exercise in for our core. Some of the moves, we're going to get our shoulders activated. Always multifunctional here at Bender Fitness. <laughs> Breathe. Keep going. We're getting there. And that little turn of the toes. I'm starting to really feel it up here. Good job. Breathe. Okay, next we are going to have a butterfly glute bridge. So again, you could do this without a weight or with a weight. Weight's going to go across the hips. Toes are, or bottoms of your feet are together. And we're going to lift. Core stays strong. Breathe. So just activating those glute muscles a little bit differently than we do in our standard bridge. <sighs> Benefits to both variations, but it's good to switch it up and use your muscles in different ways. <sighs> so whatever your joints range of motion is, you want to make sure you're exercising in ways that are utilizing that range of motion because that's how your muscles are meant to move. Breathe. Keep going, last few seconds. There we go. Okay, next we're gonna come up for a weighted squat walk. You can use two weights if you would like. We're gonna come into our squat position. Hips go back, stay low, tap, stay low, tap. And then I'm gonna walk backwards. So if you have a larger space that you're using, you can feel free to do more forward or backward steps. Just go, you know, within your space. But the key is keep it low. So trying not to stand up in between. Breathe. Feel those muscles working. That's what we're here for. Less than 10 seconds. Good job. Okay. Single leg lunge to deadlift, warrior deadlift. So all one side, we're going to lunge, lift that back heel, warrior deadlift or single leg deadlift, bring it back down all one side. Core strong, find that balance. Breathe. And this again, still very effective with no weights. I often do this move without any weight. Breathe, keep going. Less than 10 seconds. Same thing other side, so shake it out if you need to. Felt that in my glute a lot. Here we go. Lunge. Two single leg deadlift. You can do this, keep moving. If you lose a balance, it's fine. Um, you can always hold on to the wall or a chair or just go slower.
Okay, next we have a weighted switch. So you could do this without weights. It'll look like this. Switch or holding a weight. Here we go. So squat down, twist through the hips and the feet. If this does not get your heart rate up, you are magical. <laughs> Breathe. Keep going. I need to shake it out for a second. That happens, just get right back into it. Keep going. Almost there. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Extended clam. Okay. Last two exercises, guys. Okay, hand down. We're going to lift in an elevated clam. Lift that leg, bring it back down. Squeeze, lift, extend, and lower. Lift, extend, and lower. So when you lift, focus on that external rotation of the hip and then bring it back in. So it's not just like a little lift like this. It's whatever your body lets you do, which might be more or less range of motion. Doesn't matter as long as you're going to where you can go. Breathe. Almost there. Same thing, other side. Last exercise, guys, good job. So as always, click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you like getting free workouts. And leave me a comment letting me know if you had a favorite move during today's routine. Helps me know what you guys love, what you love to hate. <laughs> you know, those super effective ones that always make you feel the burn. I have a few of those. Breathe through it. And also, I just love hearing from you guys and knowing how the workouts make you feel, how you're doing. Keep going. Breathe. External rotation. <laughs> it gets harder as you get more tired. Almost there, guys. Lift. Activity completed. Good job. <laughs> okay, let's get up on our feet. March it out. Um, you can repeat this workout if you want a longer workout or if you're ready to be done here, that's fine. March in place, stay moving until your heart rate comes down, breathing comes to normal. If you're not talking as much as I am. Um, and then finish with some stretching. So I hope you guys like today's workout, like the new workouts I've been sharing. And I will see you soon with a new workout. Bye, guys.